Shalom from Israel. This Shabbat, Parashat Kedoshim, we are a day after Yom HaShoah and a few days before the day of memory, Yom HaZikaron and Yom HaTzmaut. And it always comes in between Pesach, which is celebrating the birth of the nation, and Shavuot, when we receive the Torah. In between, we have this special uh, month of Iyar and of course, Yom HaShoah that we mentioned, what is going with the nation of Israel in our days. And there was a big struggle when to put this on the calendar, the Memorial Day. The Rabbanut wanted to put Yom HaShoah in Asara uh, Betevet, Yom HaKadish HaKlali, because it's part of the Galut. The same as we remember days ago, Asara Betevet, when it started, the first Galut, and then it happened again, and now the third Galut finished so badly. So this is the idea, and not to, to put it in Nisan, because Nisan is a day of celebrating, but the Zionist movement wanted to emphasize that it's not enough to remember the Shoah, we want to make it Yom HaShoah VeHagvura, and we want to say that it's not only that they killed us, we did something, and what is more symbolize the act that Jews did than uh, Ghetto Varsha, that it happened in uh, 14 of Nisan, Lela Seder, Lela Seder. They wanted to give a gift to Hitler in Machshimov Ezichro, and it happened to be in Lela Seder that they wanted to vanish the ghetto, and then the Jews found enough courage to fight, at least to do something, and even to put two flags for four days at the buildings and to fight till the end. And therefore, it's easier for us the Jews who established again the state of Israel to say we remember the Shoah and we also remember that we have to take care and to do something. No more Shoah anymore. We will have a strong army. But we know that the same as you can emphasize and remember the courage of those who fought against the army you know that there are so many stories of Jews that they had nothing to do, but they had a lot of faith until the end. They fought not to lose their faith, not to lose their shadow, Tzelem Elohim, and they act with chesed and kindness one to each other. And we know, for example, I heard this Yom HaShoah, this story about a man that his grandchildren told people here in Israel that his father was in Auschwitz-Birkenau. And even though he saw the hell, Gate Salamavet, he saw what happened in Auschwitz, he never stopped davening every day. And in one day, he was davening. And when he finished and walked three steps back, he looked behind and he saw an SS officer and he thought to himself, well, this is the end. But instead of getting a bullet in his head, the officer yelled at him and he said, you still believe? You still believe in your God after all what you see? And he looked at him and he said, yes, I still believe. And can you imagine an SS officer and a Jew in Auschwitz start to talk about God in Auschwitz-Birkenau? And from that day, this officer took care for him and he brought him extra food. And this is how he survived. And later on, he came here to Israel and he became a prince, teacher and then a principal of school and he has children and grandchildren who tells 
this story? Can you imagine that? So, there are all kinds of gvua, of people who knew how to deal, to do something with this incredible situation. And it's part of our preparation to Shavuot. From Pesach, we are going through Yom HaShoah, and next week, Yom HaZikaron, we remember. And being a Jew means you remember, not only nostalgia, what happened years ago. It's now in your heart, in your mind, and you want to do things according to what Hashem speaks to us through the history of the Jewish people. Shabbat Shalom from Israel. (laughs) 